Welcome to 15 Days of Building a Resilient Faith. A resilient woman knows that life holds its ups, it holds its downs, and circumstances do not have to define her. She can see the bigger picture and she can have a growth mindset knowing that who she is today isn't who she always will be. Thank God for that. Can I get an amen from anyone out there who says, thank the Lord, I am not the same woman I was five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. A resilient woman realizes circumstances don't define her. She has a choice how she responds to them and those circumstances can either deplete her or they can strengthen her depending on how she views them. It's perspective, right? You know, it's like the adage that we um, have talked about 10,000 times. Do you see the glass half full or half empty? But it goes beyond just that. If I see this glass half full, do I feel like I have to hoard this water because if it runs out, I won't be able to get any more? Or do I live in confidence and in trust in the future that if I need more water, I'll be able to get what I need. If I told my kids that this was all the water they were gonna ever have and they better take care of it, they would roll their eyes and walk away um, thinking that I'm ridiculous as their mom. Why? Because they can't conceive of a life of not having water and having insatiable thirst. It's outside of their reality. Why? Because they trust me, they trust my husband to pay our water bill and that when they turn on the sink, there will always be water because their parents take care of them. See, this is the key. This is the root of resiliency that we need to understand. Resiliency is rooted in identity. Our identity is that we are God's child. And because we are God's child, we can trust him to always take care of us. Listen to these words of Jesus. This is from the message version, and it comes from Matthew chapter six, starting in verse 30. This is what he says. If God gives such attention to the appearance of wildflowers, most of which are never even seen, don't you think he'll attend to you, take pride in you, do what is best for you. What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied about the getting so you can respond to God's giving. People who don't know God and the way he works fuss over these things, but you know both God and how he works. So steep your life in God reality. God initiative, God provisions. Don't worry about missing out. You'll find all your everyday human concerns will be met. Give your entire attention to God, to what he is doing right now, and don't get worked up about what may or may not happen tomorrow. God will help you deal with whatever hard things come up when the time comes. Your reality is God reality. Your identity is you are his child. And because of that, we can have resiliency. How do we do that? We remind ourselves over and over of our identity. We meditate on that fact of our identity as God's child. Over and over as things come up and approach us, Throughout the day, we say to ourselves over and over, God is my father and he will give me everything I need. When we get impatient with our children, when we get worried over our bank account, when we become frustrated with yet another conversation of miscommunication with our spouse, when we feel anxious and we feel like we can't spend five more minutes inside of our home without having a change of scenery, over and over we meditate on the God reality of our identity. God is my heavenly father and he will give me everything I need. We say it to ourselves over and over again and again. 
we take a deep breath and we repeat it yet again. God is my heavenly father and he will care for me and give me everything I need. Say that to yourself often, write it on a mirror, steep yourself and your mind in the God reality of your identity. Do you have a friend, a sister, a coworker, a neighbor who needs to be reminded of this truth today? God is our father. He will give us everything we need. Invite them to join us on this journey of 15 days to building a resilient faith. God is our father and he will give us everything we need.